looking at it, you know, the, the boundary is clouded, so I want to build a boundary, your max protected, so I have three routes. Um, so it was either that or my vertical wrap, and my vertical wrap was covered. So that was really the only option I had, and, and the plan all week was let that thing rip and put it on a spot, and uh, you know, I'm going to trust number four every day of the week, and, and, and he's going to go make that play, and you know, sometimes things happen, and you know, it, it's football, and you know what, if we had to come back and, and bounce back, and you know what, it's it's part of the game, and uh, you know, it's, it's about how you respond, and I think we responded really well, and nobody batted an eye, we just went back to work and kept going. Uh, Will over to the left, Rob Aller, Columbus Dispatch. Oh yeah, I think uh, I think you saw the offensive line rocking off the ball today. They were they were getting up to the second level very fast. You know, with the way that their front was set up, you know, we we felt like Seth and some of the tackles could, could work up to the second level really quickly. And I think our guards got really good movement. You know, I think those guys were getting up to the second level well, and our running backs were doing an unbelievable job of, of reading things. And uh, when the run game is clicking like that, man, it, it makes my job easy. You know, because we're not in a lot of third downs. You know, we stay on schedule. You know, and if we are in third down, it's I don't think we had more than like I mean, obviously the one that was like a super long, but other than that, it was maybe like a third and ten was probably the longest we had. Um, so it keeps you in, it keeps you on schedule. You know, and. and you know, when, when you can present a balanced attack like we did today, it just it, it opens a lot of things up. Does it change your attitude to say that uh, bad intentions, uh, play with bad intentions, mm -hmm. does the run game is you know what's doing, does that sort of change anything from the best to more power? Or what does that do with the move? I don't, I, I don't think we think about that that much. I think, uh, you know, we're just, we're just out there executing one play at a time. In some plays, you know, they're going to be a little more finesse. Some plays are going to be a little more downhill and, and right at you, and you know, it's every you know everyone's just got to do their job on every single play, and, and you know we, we're trying to be the hardest playing team in the country, and you know, I think we did it for a lot of the game today. I think I don't think we were perfect. Um, I think offense had a pretty pretty solid game, and I think overall, I mean, we went 49-14, and you know, no one's going to complain about that. I mean, that's a that's a you know we don't take wins for granted here, um, but you know, and I, I say this every single week, and I'm going to say it the rest of the year, but there's always more to improve. That's the exciting thing. Uh, Will over here, deep right, Andy Backstrom, Letterman Rome. Yeah, Will got you guys showed the T again, like in the spring game. Are you ever surprised by what Chip Kelly's calling and now three games into it? Just what's your relationship like with him calling plays? Yeah, I think we're, we're clicking. We're on the same page on a lot of things. And just the way that we see, um, you know, the way that we see coverages, the way that we see um, just the pictures, um, we're on the same page on a, lot of, on a lot of stuff. And I think we're really starting to click. And uh, yeah, I mean, you never know what you're going to get with Coach Kelly. I mean, he, he he's he'll do just about anything, and I think that's the cool part about it. It keeps defenses on their toes, and I mean, I, there, there's still a ton of stuff that you know I'm sure we're going to come up with, and, and you know, new stuff will create, and you know, things will, will make off of what we've already done, and I think that's the fun part about it. You know, it's it's the it's the chess game, it's the game within the game. You know, and it, it makes it fun. Uh, over to the left, Joey Kaufman, Columbus Dispatch. Will on uh, Mecca's touchdown. How soon after he caught it, do you think he was going to? It was pretty. It was pretty soon after. I think I looked at Trey and started celebrating, and I, I knew he was he was gone after he hit that. I think he crossed into like the third level, and I was like, all right, he's he's gone. I mean, it's like, I think my two touchdown passes were a screen and a slant today, and they were both for over like 45 to 68 yards. Like, I mean, it's it's awesome, you know. Like when I can just let those guys go, you know, get the yak and do the rest. Like it's. Again, it just it makes my job easier. Uh, over to the right, Spencer Holbrook, Letterman Rowe. Well, now that Beckett's uh, had the kind of game you just had, Jeremiah had obviously two really good games to start the year. Do you, do you feel like teams are starting to defend you guys a little bit early and, and will continue to try to do different things moving forward to try to throw you guys off? I'm sure. I'm sure they will. I, you know, I, don't, I don't know if we've seen anything crazy yet. Um, you know, I think in all the games that we've played, I think every you know defense – has kind of tried to change things up, tried to give us different looks. You know, I think today they were kind of just trying to throw whatever they could at us, different looks. They changed up some things, some tendencies they did um, that didn't show up today as much. You know, obviously there were still some that stayed stayed true, but some of them didn't show up as much. And you know, you have to be ready for all those things and, and be ready to uh, to react to them, but also um, 
you know, I think I think the all of this stuff that we've done has, has presented problems for defenses, and you know, you gotta you gotta just continue to adjust and adapt to whatever they're gonna do to you. Uh, uh, I, Pat Murphy, twenty four seven sports. You have problems for defenses. I know your receivers don't care who gets the credit, but to get the ball spread around a little bit more, Jeremiah obviously took a bad pass first year. Going to Big Ten play, how important is that for Pat, for Pat to remind everyone when that guy Carnell, you've got weapons. Besides. Yeah. No, I think it's huge. I mean, I think, you know, people respecting everything, you know, and not just the receivers, the tight ends too. Those guys can make plays too, you know, like it's, and then the run game and, you know, me getting my legs going, like all these different things present challenges for defenses. And the more that we can, the more ways that we can attack them and the more people we can get involved, the harder it's going to be. Over here to the right, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Yeah, that's it. The expectation, at least the possibility is there to score on every play. What's it like to be a quarterback on offense that has that kind of ability and, and confidence? Man, I was I was sitting on the, the sideline today and I was just I was talking to some of the other quarterbacks, Devin and Julie, I was like, our offense is so explosive, it's crazy. Like, I mean, literally every play can be a touchdown. If you know, if, if we block everything up and, and get everything like it, every play could break for a touchdown. And it's it's exciting. It's also like you know, it makes it kind of fun. You know, you're just like, you never know when somebody, when Trey's gonna go, you know, take a, a, a run that should have probably been tackled for like an eight yard loss and just stiff arm somebody in, in the next week and like quench on, you know, like superhero slam and something like, it's just, it's fun, man. It, it makes it makes it exciting and you never know what's gonna happen on, on any certain play. All you gotta do is, for me, I just gotta do my job, man. I just gotta, Got to keep us on schedule and, and be sharp, and I, I think we, we did a good job of that today. Over to the left, Cameron T. Robinson, the athletic. Well, there's a lot of talk about the explosion of the receivers, but on a day where you can give a bubble or a screen to, to a magnet and you can take them towards our sound, then get an extra drive, they, the receivers block the way they do. What is that like um, to have receivers, and not just one receiver, it's all of them be so versatile? Yeah, man, that's that's the mentality of that room, man. Zone six, like those dudes are are dudes, like, and it's not just about getting catches, you know. It's not just about scoring touchdowns. It's about executing every single play. And I think Coach Hart does a really good job of coaching those guys up and getting them right. I've never seen a more selfless group of receivers and a more selfless, talented group of receivers. Like, all of them are unbelievably talented. They all want to genuinely see each other succeed. They all want to. They block for each other because you know they know that whatever, you know, they may have to do the same thing the next play, you know, and they're going to be, you know, Emeka may be blocking for Carnell, and then Carnell may be blocking for Mech and JJ, like, whoever it is, man, it doesn't matter. And I think that that shows the selflessness of those guys and, um, you know, the, the character of the guys in that room. And it, it, for me, like, I can work with character, man. If, if, we, if I got guys around me that I, I truly love and care about and I know we're going to go put their body on the line and make plays, not just in the pass game, but in the, in the blocking game, like, Man, we can work with that. That is, it, it's 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 spoiling for me. Uh, oh, I've got time for just a couple more over here to the right. Tim May, let him interrupt. Yeah, just three real fast ones. Uh, your coach, <laughs> your, your coach uh, taking the, the uh, unsportsmanlike conduct penalty when uh, clearly uh, Marshall was lollygagging, getting back out on the field. You you were in the midst of that. What were you told by the officials there? Uh, what was going on yet? I wasn't really told anything. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, wasn't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Your only recourse was a couple times. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they were. The refs were just. I mean, I know they were playing the game with us with the delay of game and trying to, you know, slate some too. But I've, I've been a part of that on teams before. And, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what happened. Yeah, and uh, the robust. I mean, you get the sneak. Did you get hurt from the front? Did you get hit harder from the front or the back? Because um, everybody <laughs> wanted to score. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Pause, but I, I, I need somebody. I need to say it, but uh, I I don't know. That that O line got a really really good push on that play. They got a really good push, and it was probably the easiest quarterback sneak I've ever had. And the uh, last thing, uh, which on Judkins, you get to watch him sometimes, right? right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how would you describe how he run from a a violent standpoint? Like, where do you want to call it? He's uh, he's different, man. He's different. He's built different. He's a uh, He's um he's a different beast, man. He uh he's physical, he's fast. I mean, you saw it on that breakaway run. Like, there's not much that that guy can't do. And I think on top of that, he's one of one of my favorite people on the team. Like, he's like like awesome. I love that dude. And I would I would do anything for him, man. And, and, and the the plays that he's making, it just 
you know, uh, it's just a compound of all the work he's put in since he's been here. And, and uh, I'm excited for him because he's he's only scratching the surface of what he's capable of. And he's already doing some pretty damn good things. And final question, uh, Stefan Kreisnick, Cleveland.com. Coach was talking about Seth McLaughlin said he was kind of like an NFL center, so you have a calming presence in the room. I guess, from your perspective, you know, working with him, how much easier does he kind of make your job, and, and how has your relationship with him grown since you both got here? Man, we're, me, and, me and Seth are super tight. Like, he's, he's one of my best friends on the team, and we spend a lot of time together. Um, and he, he is a guy that I fully trust in anything. Like, if he makes a call, I'm like, oh, yeah, that he probably sees something I don't see. You know, and, and, and we can bounce ideas off each other. Hey, why'd you do that? Why'd you make a left call? Or why'd you, you know, whatever it is, you know, we, we have that relationship to where we, we trust each other and we know that we're both trying to get on the same page and, and we're, we're on the same page most of the time. And, and he's, he's been uh, really, really good for me to have, you know, just coming into this, you know, being a first year guy in the system and also having a guy like him. You know, I think both of us can kind of lean back on our experiences a little bit and, uh, and all the all the different football, you know, we both both of us have played a ton of football up to this point. And I think that's helped us, and, and we bonded over that. And also, it's helped us out in the field. Great, Will. Thank you very much. Thanks.